Welcome back to DIY My Way. Today I've got a little tree work to do. The weather's not been very good lately. It's been raining just enough to keep me from being outside. But I've got a couple trees that I need to take down and also some trees that storms brought down that I need to cut up and I'll show you those in a minute. But finally I get to get outside and play with my chainsaw and my tractor. And I don't have to go very far for that first tree. In fact, the first tree is just outside my shop. This smaller maple right under our large, what we call the sacred maple, right here, has got a good lean kind of over toward the garage and down that way. Uh, and it's just going to crowd out and compete with uh, the big one, which we love there. And so the wife has agreed that it needs to go. It's going to be a little bit tricky since the lean is more toward the garage. I think its natural area of the fall would be right across, right through here. But it also has some lean, this just po portion of it that just goes down the gravel drive. So my challenge is to get it to fall right down the drive. The tree's just tall enough that uh, it won't quite reach the cement. It should all stay uh, on, the, on the gravel part. Not that thick around, I guess uh, maybe uh, eight inches uh, across in diameter. But the challenge is, I'm going to need to make sure I, because it's a, a leaner, but most of the lean again is toward me. So in the direction that I want it to go, it doesn't have that much lean. So my objective here is to do a fairly generous hinge cut here so that I don't have to go too far this way uh, and hopefully I will avoid um, a barber chair like I did in that earlier video with that pine tree which I really messed that up something if you want to see how not to cut down a leaner that's the video you want to watch As a safety precaution, I use some sawhorses to block the part of the driveway that the tree will be falling toward, hopefully. All right, let's do this. Getting this hinge cut right is gonna be critical. Getting this hinge cut is critical to getting the tree to fall where I want it to go, and not in the natural direction of the lean. Make it pretty generous, so that it doesn't break off and fall that way, hopefully. Okay, looks about on target. Also, I have to be careful not to cut too much of the hinge so that it's strong enough to make the tree fall in the target zone. Mission accomplished! And here's the view from afar.
With the fun part over, it's time for the real work of cutting the tree up and hauling it away. I had already suspected before, but realize now that I didn't sharpen the chainsaw like I thought I had after the last use. I'll sharpen it for sure before I cut the stump off. Time to enlist the help of Big Orange to get those logs out of here. Let's get that big log situated. Then get that tree fork on the pallet forks. That tree fork is heavier than it looks. Once again, I'll donate these to the shooting range backstop.
clean up the limbs. And finally cut the stump down. After sharpening the chainsaw first, of course. That's that. On to the next tree. This right here is my next project. This is the top of this tree right here. It got struck by lightning in a storm about a week ago. <clears throat> And that lightning was so powerful, it literally shook the house and knocked some things uh, uh, down and off the walls in the house, so it made for some excitement for us. Uh, that's the entire top of that tree. And I just now noticed, coming back, looking at this again, that I've got a limb right there that is just hanging barely on another smaller limb. So I've got to be careful not to stand right there so I'm going to do some quick cut up of this so I can pull the rest of it out of the way. Uh, in fact, I may see if I can get the forks and just pull it, the whole thing out from under there. I may end up taking the whole tree down, but I'm curious to see if the tree will live or not. I think I'm a safe distance from the Widowmaker. Uh, I'll probably let Mother Nature just bring that down, or I might uh, bring my throw line and see if I can uh, snag it. That'd be good practice. Uh, snag it with the throw line and just pull it down. Might do that. But for now, let's cut this up into bite-sized pieces so I can uh, get it cleaned up.
So one of my recent purchases is this throw line. And this is the perfect opportunity to try to use it to pull down that widow maker there. Uh, this line is good to 150 pounds, which I think with a little tugging is all I need. But in case I need something stouter, I could use it to pull up this rope that I also bought, which is a 7,000 pound arborist rope. And by the way, this and one more time will make twice that I've done this. Another essential tool for a newbie like me when it comes to wrangling trees is this little deck of cheater cards for tying the various knots that you might need. I'll have a link to this, uh, the uh, throw line, and the rope in the video description. We're going to tie a double half hitch to hold this on. A single half hitch is not strong enough, but a double half hitch makes a reliable knot. That's what they say. We're going to find out, aren't we? Did you notice that the rope is orange? That is not a coincidence. So how many tries will it take? Certainly not the first attempt. And lesson one is wear gloves when using a throw line. Even though I just let the skinny rope slide through my hand without gripping it, I got a rope burn. Once more with gloves on. Nope. Got it in the tree, but not the limb I wanted. Well, that's embarrassing. Didn't even make it to the tree. By the time I get to attempt 37.5, I'm getting discouraged, but I press on. Finally, a score. As I walk under the Widowmaker to get the throw bag, it occurred to me that maybe I should be wearing my forestry helmet. So before I try to pull the limb down, I put on the helmet. I move to the position where I think I'll have the best chance of pulling it down, and... Success! Followed by maniacal laughter. Here's a close-up view. By the way, I really didn't keep count of how many throws it took, but it was probably between 60 and 70 before I brought the whole limb down instead of pieces of it. Well, that was an ordeal, but at least I cleared up that danger. So that's most excellent. Just a little bit more cleanup to do. Last piece to cut up. Whew. Well, with that small victory, I'm going to call it a day. It's getting very hot. The pool is calling my name, and I'm going to answer that call. So until next time, thank you for watching DIY My Way, and please click that like button, leave a comment, uh, and by all means, please subscribe. And if you want to know when I release new videos, click that little bell. And as always, thank you for watching.